Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to the day five of my 12 days of gratitude. And I hope you're having an amazing holiday, and uh, I've been sort of hanging out with the family. It's been uh, kind of a really a nice time. Um, I've been doing the 12 days of gratitude now, and uh, I've done day five. Day six is today, but I didn't get to do day five yesterday because it was so busy with family stuff. But I'm going to do it now, and I'm going to share with you um, something more deeper than what I talked about before. So for day five, the gratitude that I had shared was for my father-in-law, Bob Dobbs, who had passed away this year, and something that... Uh, has been hard for all of us, um, something that I've been struggling with. And so I thought I'd dive a little bit deeper about talking about learning how to grieve because uh, I think one of those things is challenging for a lot of us. Hi, honey. Uh, one of those things is challenging <coughs> um, because for the most part, I think the, the biggest learning I've had is that everyone does it differently. Um, I find that and, you know, I was surprised because, you know, I, I have had people close to me die before. Like I've had, a, you know, a cousin pass away and I've had a um, a niece pass away or sorry, a cousin's daughter pass away. My grandfather died when I was uh, in university. And they were certainly, um, <coughs> they were also, they were very sad. I found this one hit me uh, hard because, um, hit me hard because, well, I mean, for the last 10, 15 years, my father-in-law has been a big part of my life. Uh, we talked to him weekly, sometimes twice a week. He always asked about different aspects of our lives and our kids' lives, and we go on vacation together. We spend holidays together. Like there's just a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on there. So uh, I found it really hard, and and I was really surprised. Even six months later, at an event, I was at Blake Flashacker's event um, to talk to, in Toronto just about a, less than a month ago, talking about you know our highs and lows. And I found myself getting emotional and losing it because I was like, wow, this is still rocking me from six months ago. And now here we are. It's the holidays. And now, you know, we're thinking about him everywhere, um, everywhere we go. And I noticed that everyone's grieving different ways. You know, um, my wife often mentions a few things where she's missing him. My mother-in-law tends to um, <clears throat> once in a while will remember start thinking about what she's grateful for and what she had and you know what what could have been and it might have been a very difficult transition had he not been able to recover or probably wouldn't have recovered from his stroke uh, back to normal um, my 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 uh, sister-in-law Becky just talked about the other night at dinner about she just wanted to like take a moment to, to be mind to be mindful of him to be reminded of him and I thought that was really sweet that was very kind um, and then for me, like, I think for me, it's, uh, um, I mean, this is about gratitude. So I'm really grateful for everything he did. But I'll, I'll tell you, the gratitude and the grieving all kind of goes together. Uh, and what I'm finding is that uh, you'll see that it's, it's, it's so many small things that add up. So, like, during the day when I'm on my laptop, usually he would be, uh, Papa Dawes would be putting around the kitchen, getting ready for dinner, and he's not there. Right, so I feel I'm alone and there's no one, no one around, or I'm I'm reading something on Facebook and something about politics or something about parenting or something about, you know, something going on in in the world, and I'll say, hey, you know, uh, did you hear blah blah blah? And he'd be like, oh, okay, and he'd make his own comment, and but I don't do that anymore. So now again, I'm sitting there in silence, and so I'm missing him, uh, or. Uh, at nighttime when it's quiet, you know, he's usually around and wants to play a board game and, you know, we haven't really done that, but I'm sure he would like to, so we're not doing that either. Uh, there are times where um, he would want to, he'd be like putting around uh, just uh, on his uh, on his iPad playing Sudoku and again, something will come up and, hey, what do you think? And I'd ask him a question. And then the big one is is the meals because he's not making the meals, so I'm stepping up to make the meals. And while I'm making the meals, I have some questions. Hey, where is this pot? Or do you have any, you know, pressed garlic? Or, uh, you know, I'd, I'm not really sure how to make this turkey sausage. Any suggestions on how to, no one has done? And I, he'd be the first guy to ask. He's not here. And it's like, ah. And <clears throat> so I'm honored to step up and take over some of the meal planning. But yeah, uh, that he's missing. And so I'm feeling that the way I'm grieving is is different too. The, the way I want to grieve is I really feel, I feel like I want to express how sad I am, how angry I am, and how grateful I am. And so there's, uh, and some people want to do one or two or, or, or three. I want to do all three. I'm sad because 
you know, he's gone. I'm sad because he was taken away. I'm angry because he was taken away too early in my mind because he was in perfect health. We were expecting 10 years and then a massive stroke and then two weeks he's gone. And so I feel sad. I feel mad about that. I feel sad and mad that he won't be around to see my kids grow up and, you know, share his values with them and share memories. Because again, I had this expectation of, you know, um, at least 10 years before, you know, things start to deteriorate or whatever. It's also made me more mindful of uh, my own parents. And, uh, you know, like if anyone's ever felt that way, by all means, you know, comment below. Like, I mean, maybe I can call my mom more. Maybe I can spend more time with my parents. Um, you, We all can do that. And I just, you know, we all, you know, we, we all, we're so, we're, we're so trying hard to become independent and have our own lives. And we forget about those small things. And so, you know, now I'm thinking about, you know, the things I want to do with my parents or what I want to talk about with my parents moving forward. It's so, it's so important. It's so important to take the time to just send a kind word, to send a kind message, to say, thank you, I appreciate you while we have the time. One of the biggest things I struggled with during my father-in-law's passing was he had the stroke and then was in the hospital for two weeks before he died. And I never got a chance to even see him once or say anything or just see his face. We were hoping to Skype at one point in the hospital, but then there was a complication. Then we were going to do another day, and by that time, it was done. And me and my two kids, actually this morning, my kids, where I was saying, you know, I never got a chance to say goodbye to Grandpa. And I'm like, oh, my God, I know, me neither. And I totally I had a great conversation with the kids about, you know, the loss and what's missing and, and all that. And it was actually really, it was really sweet. It was really sweet. So I was like, it was a really nice conversation. So, uh, yeah, I mean... <clears throat> he was a, you know, second father and he was very invested in our lives and very supportive and he helped me with my GMAT book and he helped me with cooking lists. He helped me with fixing things around the house. Um, and, you know, now like vacation planning next year, like, you know, this, as much as I'm enjoying a time with the family and everyone here is stepping up, I, I'm, I'm missing it and I'm, I'm still missing it. I'm, the first year is always the hardest because the year of the first, the first birthday, the first father's day, the first uh, holiday season, the first everything else, first grandparents day, all these things are going to be um, part of uh, getting used to this process. You know, I'm not sure how you all grieve or what you think are the best ways to grieve, but like it is different for all of us. We all have to figure out what works best for us. And again, you know, I'm trying to do these uh, these daily Facebook lives. If you, if you like what you're hearing or you 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 have comments, comment below, share this, like it. I appreciate any chance to uh, have a conversation with people and make myself accessible to people uh, out there. And yeah, that's that's really all I wanted to say today. So, um, I, I all, sorry, the other thing was, I'm really grateful for how everyone here is just completely stepping up, like all the cousins and siblings and uncles and aunts and everybody, they're all like just, you know, there's a, there's a gap and we're all stepping up with the cooking and the cleaning and the shopping and the logistics and the planning and the outings and all. Like tonight I'm taking um, uh, all the... Um, uh, all the sons out for the annual movie jaunt, which my father-in-law would used to do, but now I'm going to take them out and, you know, make sure everyone's got their popcorn, make sure everyone's got good seats and they're okay and they're catered for. We're going to go see Star Wars Rogue One, so I'm, I'm really happy to step up in that role and and help people out. So <clears throat> that's the that's the main thing I wanted to say. I hope you guys are doing well. I mean, hope you're how are you how are you during the holidays and. If you've had you know trouble dealing with with a with a loss of a loved one, please share below and let me know like what your thoughts are and you know how you try to process it. All right, so um, yeah, so Papa Dobbs, love you. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. Uh, miss you like crazy. The family's doing well. We are su supporting one another, and uh, you know I'm always grateful and honored for uh, everything you did in my life, and I'll always be able to remember that I'll always be able to pass that down to my to my kids and talk about you and I won't get I won't grow tired of talking about it either all right talk to you soon have a great great day